Alright, so uh, this video is uh, showing you how to create the uh, auto default and uh, auto connection for the bracing. So whether this one is a vertical brace or horizontal brace. Okay, first let's start creating the uh, auto connection. And to do that one, we need to set up the uh, uh, auto connection under the, men under the uh, menu catalog then auto connection settings so under this auto connection settings uh, there are uh, default uh, settings available so let's say let's leave this rule and then we need to create a new rule so just simply right click and then new rule group so under new under the uh, new rule group uh, we can now expand this one and there are uh, six different conditions and then we need to identify which conditions uh, we are uh, are we going to uh, use for the uh, for our bracing connection so let's say for example we start with the uh, connection of the bracing to the plunge of the column so in that case we need to select the uh, beam to column plunge so when you uh, expand the beam to column plunge, you can see that there is no connection at the moment. So we need to create uh, <clears throat> the rule first. Okay, so in this case, uh, the uh, bracing is considered as beam, all right? So now what we can do here is select again the beam to column plunge, right click on it, and then create additional rule set. Okay, so from the additional rule set, it will create this new, and then if you expand that one, still there's no connection, but before we create the, uh, or we select the connection, we need to right-click on the new, and then edit the rule set, and then from this rule set, we can now uh, set up the rules that we want to use, for example, primary part name. So meaning we need to get the primary part name, which is the column. So just simply double click the column. And then on the right hand side, you can see the name. You can just simply copy and then paste that one to the primary name. So that one is the column. And then uh, under the rule set, you can uh, select now the secondary part name, secondary one part name. And then here, double click on the uh, brace and our name here is vertical brace copy and then paste it here so we can now name it as a, let's say vertical brace uh, one or vertical brace column and one so hit okay and uh, okay again our rule set here is the primary part name is column and the secondary one part name is vertical brace. Then name that one and then hit OK. So you will find here under the beam to column plunge, there is a vertical uh, column, uh, vertical brace and column one and then no connection. So we need to select this no connection, right click on it and then select the connection type. So in this case, the connection that I'm going to use is number 11, <coughs> the bolted gasset. All right so here just double click on it and there you go so it will use the bolted gasset plate so meaning it will use the the default setting of the bolted gasset number 11 so just simply apply this one or here you can just simply rename this one if you like maybe uh bracing bracing connection so and then apply so now, once you apply this, we can now uh, try uh, if that one works. So meaning I have the column, I have the vertical uh, brace here. For this uh, uh, location, I will select both. And then under the uh, um, edit, you will find the component here and then create connect auto connection. So from this auto connection, you can see that uh, uh, it selected the uh, bracing connection, so meaning that one, bracing connection, bracing connection here. So the defaults, there are some defaults here, but we're going to use the bracing connection, which is the, which the, the I mean, the one that we have uh, set up earlier. And then 
uh, for the uh, default, we're going to use the factory uh, defaults, okay? So just simply select and then create connection. Let's see if that one works. So now, yes, that one works. So again, the, um, the parameters uh, used in this um, uh, auto defaults are the factory defaults, okay? Now, if I select uh, all the columns and all the bracings and then create connection, so look what will happen. So I'm going to have these uh, uh, four, four connections to the column, all right? So that's the uh, first uh, step or the or first example. Now, let's move on to the next example, which is the vertical brace to the beam plunge. Okay, so meaning it's it will be a beam to beam plunge. So we need to select this one. Beam to beam plunge. So again, in this uh, beam to beam plunge, so what we need to do here is uh, again select the uh, beam to beam plunge, right click on it, and then create additional rule set. So in this rule set, uh, like uh, similar to what we have done earlier, uh, we can now uh, select the new and then right click and then edit rule set. And then this time, uh, again, the primary part name is select this one, it's beam, so it's already there, beam then the secondary part name, and then the secondary two part name. So we need to select again this one. So the secondary one part name and secondary two part name are both vertical brace and vertical brace. And then here, we put here vertical brace uh, beam. All right, and then hit OK. And there you go. So again, select the connection. Right click on it, select the connection type, and again, number 11. That's it, apply. And this time, we can try again this beam. Select uh, by window, the beam and the, uh, both vertical brace, and then create connection. So there you go. So in this example, as you can see, it's uh, something like, it's a connection with the uh, two secondary beam all right so select this two again and create connection all right so now let's uh let me select let me delete all the connection and with the rules that i have created here i'm going to select all all right and then create connection and that's it i have already the uh bracing connect uh, vertical brace connection all right so now let's uh, move on to the next one which is the uh, beam to beam this one will be beam to beam web again select the beam to beam web on your uh, auto connection setup all right select and create additional rule set again repeat the procedure edit rule set and then uh, primary part name, secondary part name, and the primary part name, of course, is beam, but the secondary part name will be horizontal brace. Just simply copy again the name and paste it here, and that's it. So here, you can type here horizontal brace underscore and then beam one. Okay, hit OK, and expand, select the connection, connection type number 11, same thing. Double click the bolted gasset, apply and select and con and create connection. See? So if I select all again, create connection, as you can see here, it creates the connection to all beam to beam web. Alright? So now lastly the connection on the cross brace. So this one is considered as, uh, we can also try the beam to beam web, okay? So let's try the beam to beam web first, right? And then uh, from here, beam to beam web, again, create additional rule set and edit rule set, same thing, part name, 
at this time you have the primary one and primary two, uh, secondary one and secondary two, both horizontal brace, all right? And then here, horizontal brace two, horizontal brace. Okay, right away, the primary part name should be horizontal brace as well. So, because this one are all horizontal brace name, so, but we are going to use that one in the condition of, of the uh, beam to beam web. So hit OK and there you go. And this time, select connection type, same thing. You just put number 11. By the way, number 11 is a very uh, powerful uh, uh, brace connection uh, here in Tech Structure. So apply and then select. And then create connection, and there you go. So we're done. Okay, so if I may delete again all these, oops, sorry. If I may delete again all this uh, connection, again, we are doing the auto connection. Huh? So if I select this, and then uh, using the factory default, then create connection. And there you go. So I have this auto connection here, the setup here. All right, so now uh, the next thing is uh, we need to uh, add the auto default. Okay, so instead of factory default, we are going to create our own uh, default. So meaning uh, we need to change the color or the size or the uh, number of bolts. Uh, and differentiate the uh, the number of bolts from horizontal and vertical brace. So uh, at this point of time, I'm going to close the auto connection setup. We're done with that one. So I'm going to open the under the catalog auto default setting. So here we can just simply create a new rule group again, and then uh, we can rename this one as uh, bracing defaults. All right, so apply. So if you notice here, it's already there. And we need to know where is where will be the uh, the component number of the bracing. So basically, uh, that one will be under component 19. So you will find the bolted gasset number 11. So under the bolted gasset number 11, as you can see here, there is a standard here. But you need to create additional rule set for this. Uh, for both uh, vertical and horizontal. So additional rule set, so here new, right click on it, and then edit rule set. So here in this case, let's uh, uh, look for the primary part name and then the secondary part name. And this time I'll type again here column, same, same uh, rules. We can uh, use the same rules here. Just simply type here vertical brace or you can use the profile if you want. So, but at the moment, I will use the uh, uh, the same ruling here, and then here uh, I will be using the uh, uh, iterate until the connection symbol is green, and then here you type here vertical brace, okay, vertical brace, and then hit OK. So here under this vertical brace to column, actually this one should be vertical brace uh, column. All right, and then from here, instead of standard, that that is the uh, the uh, factory default, the standard. Then we can just simply right click and then select connection parameter. So here, as you can see here, there is a vertical brace, and then hit OK. All right, then uh, same thing. You just simply create additional rule set. Maybe I'll just uh, uh, okay. Now I will uh, delete this one. And then look, select this one and then uh, create connection. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I haven't uh, applied that one yet. Apply and then select connection. Okay, it's still not showing the. Anyway, let me just uh, uh, go through this one first and then I will close this one. Let me just uh, continue here first, or uh, 
yeah, let, let me finish all the default. It seems that one doesn't work, and we can just edit the rule set, and then if the primary part name is beam, and then the secondary part name, and then the uh, secondary two part name is vertical base, then iterate again, and then this one is bit race beam. And then hit OK. All right. And again, this one should be select this and still vertical brace. Hit OK. All right. Now, uh, I need to check if that one is working here. I just double click on this because I want to show you what will be the outcome. So load and then maybe I forgot to save this one. Yeah, it should be three. 3 bolt and color red. Anyway, um, that will be our that will be our target. Okay, so let me just uh, delete this one and then go back to uh, creating the uh, the default. Okay, so again here create additional rule set. This time will be uh, uh, for the pri the primary part name is a beam and then the secondary part name will be horizontal brace. So this one would be horizontal brace, and then symbol horizontal brace beam. Okay, hit OK, and then same thing, select horizontal brace, and lastly, create rule set, edit rule set. This time will be primary part name, secondary part name, and then this one will be all. All right, and cross brace. All right, let's hit OK. And select the horizontal brace. All right, so I have already the uh, uh, the default, okay, horizontal brace default. So now, what I will do is I'm going to delete everything. Delete. Okay, so moment of truth. So I'm going to select everything and then go to this uh, edit component, create connection. So here, green book, uh, bracing default, and this one is bracing connection, right? And again, select everything and then create connection. And there you go. Done. So if you notice here, all the vertical brace, it will be uh, three bolts and the red gasset plate and the horizontal brace will be four bolts and then green gasset plate. So that will be our auto connection. Or that's how to create the auto connection and auto default for our bracing. Thank you.